Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Okay, Taurus, the main energy for your reading this week is the Seven of Cups. Choices, decisions, possibly confusion. We'll see what this is about. And there it goes. <laughs> Seven of Cups is your main energy. Just keep that in mind. Um, so in your recent past, you get the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the Ace of Wands. You were wishing for something and boy, did it come true. Lovers, Ace of Wands, powerful connection, possibly from your past, rekindling the flame. This is something you've been desiring. It happened. You felt great about it. Just beautiful, loving explosion um, of energy. In your current situation, you get the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. You're showing up here with the King of Pentacles, but you're very confused. These are both two cards of confusion and an inability to make a decision, not knowing which direction to go, not knowing what to do. We'll see what that's about in the current situation. In your near future, you get the Moon, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. Something here is hidden. It could be that you're not aware of something or it could be that on a very subconscious level something's going on. There is some unhappiness here, a lack of interest showing up in the near future, as well as a desire to work on something. So either you want to work on something or you want to work on something with somebody else. But let's see what that's about. Let's take a look at this Nine of Cups in your recent past. What is this Nine of Cups about in the recent past? Nine of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Okay, Wands, passion. Um, there's a burden here. There's something that was heavy for you. There was something that you were desiring, right? Nine of Cups to me is wish fulfillment or emotional balance. It was difficult for you to maintain that because you were waiting for something, okay? With the Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands, could be you were waiting for a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries, or somebody ha that has very fiery energy. Your desire was for this person or this connection to come through or something pertaining to this connection. But it was very difficult for you to maintain this emotional balance, this emotional stability, because you're just waiting for this other person to come in. And with the Two of Wands, it shows me that you're in separation from them. So possibly you guys are not communicating, at least not in the 3D world, but energetically, you're waiting for this person. Let's take a look at the lovers in your recent past. Lovers is clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands. There was a lot of anxiety and fear around this connection in the recent past. It was a very powerful connection with the lovers showing up. There was a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear showing up here. But then the way it shows up is there's a communication that comes in. Either you communicate, they communicate, some form of communication comes in, which basically takes away this anxiety and fear and puts you in a state of just feeling really, really good, feeling victorious, feeling like, yeah, I achieved something, I accomplished something. It could be that the other person communicated, it could be that you communicated, but either way, you're going from a state of fear and anxiety to a state of, okay, I feel good about this. I feel like I like this this is good and it all pertains to a very very powerful connection in your recent past between you and somebody else. Well, let's take a look at this eight of ace of wands in your recent past. Ace of Wands is clarified by the King of Pentacles, which you get in your current situation. The Three of Cups, the Six of Cups. This is a divine connection between you and another person. Could be a soulmate, just could be a, a just in general soul connection. I see whoever this person is, there's a reconciliation here. So it could be that you have the desire to reconcile with this person. There's two cards here about bringing back something from the past, rekindling the spark, getting back together. The Three of Cups is a reconciliation with someone from your past. Six of Cups is about a past connection. So this doesn't feel like a new connection to me. This feels like someone that you've been with in the past, possibly separated from, broken up, could just be someone in your distant past. Either way, in the recent past, it's showing up that um, the desire to reconcile and bring this back is showing up. And I feel like you're the one with this desire because the King of Pentacles is showing up here and you are the King of Pentacles energy to me. Let's take a look at this Two of Swords in your current situation. What is this Two of Swords about? Two of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Strength. 
you're unable to make up your mind. You're very, very confused about something because you have a lot of love for this person, but you don't trust this person. You don't trust this connection or this person. And so you're very, very confused. You're very stressed out because you're unable to see. See how she's blindfolded in this card? You're unable to see the situation, possibly objectively because you have feelings, or you just can't see where this is going. You can't see where this is going to evolve to. And you have a lot of love for this person. The Queen of Cups is all about tons of love but you don't trust them could be that you're dealing again with a leo um that's showing up or you had a fire sign leo sagittarius aries in your past either way whoever this person is you don't trust them there's a lack of trust here and so you're always kind of like teetering between ah this feels good but i don't know where this is going oh i trust this oh jk no i don't um, and that's hard for you as a Taurus, as an earth sign, someone that likes stability, having that lack of trust or not being able to fully trust the situation and trust your intuition in the situation makes it very difficult for you to deal with. Um, let's take a look at this two of pentacles in your current, ah, too many cards spirit. Okay. Take it. Give me one more, please. Sometimes the cards will just flip over and the universe is like, take them, take them. I said, take them. One more, please. Okay. For the two of pentacles, you get the two of cups, the towers, the queen of pentacles. Again, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, divine pair, six of cups, divine pair. Very, very grounded energy. You could be dealing with another earth sign here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or someone that just embodies very grounded energy, okay? Either way, with this two of pentacles, you have a connection here. Again, lots of love between you and this person. You have a lot of love for this person. This feels like a connection to you. There's some destabilizing energy showing up here though. So the way it's showing up, it's like, there's a lot of love for this person. This to me is either you or the other person, could be another earth sign, grounded, stable energy. And then in between these two energies, bam, you get the tower, which is a very destabilizing, very kind of like earth shattering energy, something that you don't expect, which again, throws you into a state of confusion with the two of pentacles where you're kind of not sure how to approach this. Tying that into the fact that in the current situation, you don't trust whatever is happening here. You have a hard time trusting it. I can understand why this would be putting you in a state where you're like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know which decision to make because I feel so much, but I also like, there's something, there's something showing up in the current situation with the tower where it's like an energy that you don't expect um, that kind of destabilizes everything. Let's take a look at the king of pentacles in your current situation. King of pentacles is clarified by the page of wands, which you got. No, that's nine of cups. Page of wands, knight of swords, the six of pentacles. Okay. You again, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, it's shown up three times at this point. Whoever this person is, you want to take action towards them. You're the king of pentacles to me. You want to take action towards them to restore a sense of balance, okay? You want to balance out the situation. It could be that in the current situation after this tower moment, something happened which destabilized the whole energy. In the current situation, I see you wanting to move in this person's direction and bring back balance, bring back stability, bring back equal give and take. Let's take a look at the moon in your near future. What is this moon about in the near future for Taurus? All right, look, you must be dealing with a fire sign because it keeps showing up or somebody that has very, very strong fire in their chart or fire energy. For the moon, you get the seven of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, the queen of wands. You are very attracted to this person, okay? You look at them and you're like, oh, googly eyes okay and you want something stable with them you want to work on something stable and long term with them all right the ten of pentacles is all about long-term stability which i mean come on you're a taurus you love the long-term stable committed energy okay now with the moon showing up here that's telling me that you may not realize that this is what you want and again this could be you this could be your person um, I'm putting this on you because this is your reading and there are a lot of pentacles here, but whoever this person is, they may not realize or they may not want to admit to themselves that this is how they feel and this is how they, they um, that this is how they feel and this is what they want to achieve with you or vice versa, right? But either way, whoever this person is, they want to work on something stable long term and there is a ton of passion here. So much passion. 
Let's take a look at the Four of Cups in the near future. What is this Four of Cups about? Wow. Four of Cups is clarified by the moon, which you just got in your near future, the death, the page of swords. Something here is coming to an end and it's not making you very, very happy, okay? It may be that you're learning something, you're realizing something. It could be that this desire that you had in the beginning of your recent past to work on something stable and long term, that's coming to an end, okay? You may just realize like, hey, this isn't, this isn't going to happen. This isn't meant for me. It could be that something else in this connection pertaining to this is coming to an end. Either way, something about this is making you unhappy in the current situation. And with the Page of Swords, to me, that's you kind of like slowly coming to a realization, slowly realizing or learning something about wanting to work on your long-term commitment. It could be that you're, that what you desire or what you think you desire as something stable and long-term isn't actually what you desire so for example you may think that long-term stability means xyz and then you're starting to realize like wait a minute xyz just isn't working out for me anymore maybe i need to start looking at abc for example you know either way yeah, i know that's that's very confusing sorry taurus but basically what i'm trying to say is in the near future something about long-term stability the type of people you're attracted to what you want to work toward that's coming to an end and it's on a subconscious level with the moon here twice that's telling me that this isn't something conscious this is something subconscious something that you're you're slowly starting to realize like yeah may, maybe this ain't this ain't working out well, let's take a look at this eight of pentacles in your near future closing off your reading wow Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Hierophant, which is you, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups was the main energy for your reading this week, okay? You're working on something. Something here is working between you and another person. Um, could be dealing with a water sign. I don't feel like that, though. No, no, no. Um, either way, somebody here is coming in or wants to come in and offer you love, express love, let you know, like, hey, I'm really fond of you, Taurus. I want to pursue this. There's something here about choices. So it may be that you are, you know, you're on the market. You're dealing with multiple different choices in love, right? You may be dating several people. There may be some people that you are interested in, more than one. Either way, you're showing up here in the near future, closing off your reading as working on this. Something is working in your love life when it comes to dating, options, etc. And you're showing up in your power with the Hierophant here. So this is definitely a very positive way to close off the reading. So if you are dating, if you are currently single, or you know, you're, you're just out on the market dating, in the near future, I see that working out for you. Um, and it could possibly be after this realization that you come to where it's like, hey, what I've been looking for when it comes to long-term stability isn't working. Maybe we need to end whatever that is and start focusing on something else that's more beneficial for me. And I see that working out for you in the near future. Very positive way to close off the reading, Taurus. Let's take a look at what energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Taurus. Yeah. For the energies this week, you get the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands. You are resisting something right now. This is the energy that you want to be in. Very passionate, very beautiful, very powerful, very like, you know, I'm a badass bee. Gender doesn't matter in tarot, by the way. Um, but the way you're showing up right now is there's resistance. And the reason there's resistance is because you're shutting off your heart. In the current situation, you may be very, very closed off and approaching things from a very logical perspective. You're kind of like, yeah, emotions, they haven't really been working out for me lately. I'm going to shut this off real quick. I'm going to focus on the logical perspective of things and approach my life and my love life from a very logical perspective. That's bringing in some resistance because deep down, Taurus, that's not who you are. You're a very loving person. You love love. You love people. You love the, that energy. And so coming in it from a very logical perspective may be creating some resistance. But I see you eventually getting into this Queen of Wands energy, which is powerful, badass energy. So Taurus, thank you for tuning in. That's what I have for you this week. If this resonated, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. And of course, I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Taurus.